Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode 23 of my Iron Man series. So, as you guys might remember, in the last episode, we did end off with a Dagonoth task, but that is not the task that we are going to be starting out with for this episode. So, about a couple days ago, I was talking to my friend, and I'm borrowing his computer to stream and record. I don't know how many of you know that, but I am, and he was saying that he might need it back, so I couldn't record anything because I might have lost all that footage. So I just went ahead and did some tasks uh, off screen. I just did like five or six. So we have a black dragon task right now. Um, I don't have a slayer ring or slayer helm to show that I do. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, that's the case. So we're gonna go get started off with our uh, black dragon task. We're gonna go kill him at KBD instead of the regular black dragons, though. And just a disclaimer: this episode probably will be a little slayer heavy since we do need to go for 87 slayer very shortly the sooner that we get that out of the way the sooner we will be able to start doing more bossing and stuff so bear with me guys if this episode is a little slayer heavy i will try and try to mix it up a bit but let's get right into it with some kbd there's a completion of our King Black Dragon task. Uh, I completed it a little bit ago, so it's probably not in the chat box, but that's irrelevant. We didn't get anything too fantastic, but we did get 450 U logs, which I did get back to back to back, which was really shocking because those are probably the best drops that King Black Dragon gives. But other than that, we didn't really get anything too fantastic, but it was honestly really fun to do. I wasn't expecting it to be that fun, but I will definitely be doing them at King Black Dragon from now on, and most likely in the future I will buy the uh, the perk that you can buy from the Slayer Master that will give you multiple, like a lot more Black Dragons when I get a Zamorak Costa or something like that. But that's besides the point. Let's go get our next task, and hopefully it'll be something fun. 152 Gargoyle. I'll take those. I haven't had those for a while. Ooh, first hard clue of the episode. Let's see if we can get anything fancy. How does this happen to me? Three third age pieces on my Iron Man. Three. It's okay. No, it's okay. There's a completion of our gargoyle task, and wow, what an eventful task, if I do say so myself. We got four adamant boots after our obvious third age van braces. Uh, three of those came in five kills. That was that was just stupid. And we also got a tooth half and another hard clue. But let's go get a new task. Hopefully it'll be something like blood veil, something that'll give me some really awesome XP. And then we'll do the clue. Call on hellhounds. Ooh. We can kill some cow fight queen. Sounds great to me. Let's go do the clue. Not a bad clue. Nice to Alcabulls. But other than that, nothing too fantastic. Alright, let's go do our task, which is escaping me at the moment. There's a completion of our cow fight task, and I'm sorry I did not do that. I'm a cow fight queen, but I am 84k away from 85 Slayer, and um, I just want to keep the grind going right now. don't really want to stray and do some other tasks, but hopefully... We can get something awesome for our next task. Hopefully something that will drop us clues as well. Ooh, 130 fire giants. Awesome. I don't get those too often, so those are fun to do. We just completed our fire giants task, our 243rd task in a row. Also, we did pick up a rune skim, the infamous rune skim, and a loop half and a key half. Or a key half? CJ, come on now. A tooth half and a loop half, so we just put them together to make the full key. All right, let's go get our new task. Ugh. <sighs> uh... I want to do cow fight queen. All right, let's just go do five kills. We're not going to do ten or anything extravagant like that. Let's just go do five kills and then get back to the task. First kill, nothing very fantastic. Fantastic, jeez, very nothing very fantastic. Jeez, this is a struggle. Yeah. Kill numero two. Ooh, yes. Potato cactuses are awesome. I love that drop. Kill number three. Boom. Nice magic logs. Those aren't too particularly useful for me. Second to last kill. What? That's an interesting job. I don't know if I've gotten that one before. And the last kill. Eh. Nothing fantastic. Alright, let's go do the regular cow fights. Boom. That is our task complete. And also during the task, we did hit 93 hit points. That's really awesome. Only, what, 6 mil till our first 99? I'm not quite sure if that's going to be our first 99. Let's pick up our next task. 
153 greater demons. I feel like I should do... Uh, I know I'm going to go kill some Zami. I'm not sure how many kills I'm going to go do. Maybe just one or two. Yeah, just a, just one or two kills. Not too many. Wow, these kills are really getting a lot easier now. Rune Skimitar. Not a bad first drop. And kill number two. I went for a two kill trip last time and died. So that's why I have an extra Zami Dehyde. But back to back rune skims. All right, that's that's to be expected. Let's go kill some greater demons and hopefully we can get some better luck there. I'm not quite sure what I'd get better luck with. Maybe we can get some fun clues because I kind of miss doing them. But we're about 53k away from 85 Slayer at the moment anyway, so we're gonna be getting that incredibly shortly. And then after that, I'll probably take the liberty to do a couple more bosses than I uh, should have been or have been doing. So I'll be killing more Calfly Queen or Zami if I get those in the future. And the first clue of the task coming in, only about 50 kills in. Alright, let's go. <sighs> well, there goes the rest of my graceful. Yep. There's a completion of our Greater Demons task, and unfortunately, we did not get any other clues than the one that we got PK'd for. If you didn't realize, that's what happened. Went into Wheat Deep Wilderness without thinking, had my Graceful on, got PK'd, lost the clue and the Graceful, which was, uh, all of my Graceful left, which is kind of disappointing. Let's go get a new task. 61 Anku. Alright, that's a, that's a pretty quick task. There's our Anku task complete. It was a super easy 10 minute task. I timed it myself. And just a quick update, 36k away from 85. I can't wait, honestly. Let's go keep grinding it out. 163 spiritual mages. Let's... I'm not quite sure which place I'm going to kill them at, uh, but I guess you guys will find out. There's our spiritual mages task done, and as you can see, we only got 1D boots and no clues. I'm kind of getting a little salty because we're not getting any clues, but that's that's okay. Let's go get a new task. 151 gargoyles, will that get us the level? No, but it'll get us very close. We'll probably get it on the next task. There's a completion of our gargoyle task, and we have been going, what, three trips, or three tasks to dry of clue now? That's ridiculous, but we did manage to pick up three Addy Boots and a Granite Maul. Let's go get our next task, and that should get us 85 Slayer. 125 Dagonoth, perfect. That'll only take a few minutes. All right, this is the Dagonoth that we will be getting our 85 Slayer on if we can actually finally kill it. I think hopefully we can get it on the next hit. Or not. We'll just wait here until we get it. There we go. 85 Slayer has been achieved. That's awesome. Oh gosh, that's really awesome. Um, Now, uh, I'm going to finish this task out. I'm not going to skip until Abbey Demons because there's really no point to. But, um... Yeah, I, I'm just really happy that I got 85. That's a, that's a huge accomplishment on my account, honestly. There's a completion of our 249 task in a row. Happily, we did get our 85 Slayer on the task. We also got a medium clue, so we're going to go do that. But since this will be our 50th task in a row, we're going to go get it from Duradel so we can get those extra points. All right, Duradel, don't be a butthead. Atta boy. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go do the medium clue. What the heck kind of clue is this? What? Not two, you comp, but... I, I got two you comp bows? How does that even happen? <laughs> As you can see in the inventory, we do have our first hard clue from Abyssal Demons. We got it right after I potted up, so I didn't leave right away. Let's go do the clue. Well, that's a semi-solid clue. Nice amount of aquables, and we did get more in Teleport Scrolls, which are pretty useful, to be honest. Ooh, clue scroll number two of the test coming in. I really, really am enjoying these Abyssal Demons. Well, that was not worth a seven-step clue. There is our Slayer task complete. Abyssal Demons are a lot of fun. I got another clue as well, and that was our 250 task in a row. 225 points, that's always a beautiful sight to see. Let's go do the task, or sorry, not the task, let's go do the clue, and then we're going to switch it up for a little bit. 
I just quickly grabbed our next task. 156 blood veld. I will definitely take those. Well, that's about the most average clue that you can possibly get. Alright, um, I'll explain what we're going to be doing in the next clip. Alright, now it's time to do a bit of Barrows Rushing like we did in the last episode. So let's quickly get the screen marker over. And as you can see, there is one empty space. So if we get any loot, it will go in that space, but none of us will know until the very end. Awesome. There's a the marker. Let's go get started. I have about an hour and a half till I have to go into work, so that's how long I'm going to be rushing for. I might log out and do more chests if I didn't get many done when I come back from work, but we'll find out. As you can see in the chat box, we are at 375 chests, and I do believe that is 50 chests later. I'm pretty sure I started at 325. Don't really remember, honestly, but that pretty irrelevant so let's go to the bank and uh, gonna withdraw my third age van braces if there's an item there then they won't go into my inventory if there is then um, yeah I well you guys know the drill also I did kill Darok and Varak uh, I don't know if I mentioned that or not but uh, here it goes <sighs> darn it alright um, as you can see we don't have an item. The drop rate's about 1 in 48. Oh well, at least we got like 35k out of it. Before we do go back to Slayer, I would like to do a few kills of Bandos. I'm gonna, not going to do too many, only maybe 2 or 3 kills, maybe 1. I'm not totally sure, because it's pretty late right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that there will be a decent amount of open worlds. I just want to get comfortable at Bandos, so, so when I do go kill him a lot, I'm not totally new to it. So let's go get a few Bandos kills, and I'll be back with the loots. Kill number one. Ooh, just some super restores. Not horrible. That was a very easy kill, honestly. And kill number two, our last kill for now. 17 magic logs. Nice. So I was planning on returning to Slayer directly after those Bando solos since it's like 3 a.m. I was just going to go to bed. But I just saw that Mr. Mammal posted a video on how to safe spot Vedian. So. Whether or not that's going to be patched in the next couple of days, I'm not totally sure, but I would like to go get a couple of kills and test it out. And it's 4 a.m. right now, and I was in bed when I watched it, and I had to get up and try it, because first of all, there's going to be next to no PKers, and also it's going to be dead there. So, hopefully we can get something nice. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get some supplies, like Limport Roots. I think that drops a decent amount of limps. But let's go see. If we can get a couple of kills, that would be awesome. And I would like to do more this episode. I'm just going to get a couple of kills for right now, though. Well, the first kill was uh, quite the struggle, but we did manage it. 300 oak planks. That is actually amazing. Thank you, Vedion. I'm going to keep doing this for quite a bit. I enjoy this. And our second kill. Ooh, more oak planks. Much smoother kill this time. I'm getting the hang of it now. What the heck is going on with these oak planks? I mean, I'm not complaining. I just banked like 60k construction within the last 15 minutes, but geez. Finally, a little bit of variation in the drops. 400 Chaos Runes. We're going to come back and do one more kill and then get back to the Slayer grind. And 400 more Chaos Runes for our final kill for now. I will be coming back later this episode, perhaps even tonight. Hopefully, we can get some Mad Slayer gains before that, though. I believe we ended with a task of 150 Blood Belt or something like that, so let's go do that real quick and hopefully we can get some clues. First our clue of the task, let's go knock this out real quick. Ooh, an armadillo page. No longer really useful for me. Armadillo page 1. Not bad. There's a completion of our blood veiled task, and honestly, I can never get over how good looking I look in this outfit. Anyway, let's go get a new task from Duradel. Let's name our next task, but before we do that, let's buy the the upgrade for the Abyssal Demons so that we get more every time we're assigned them. Uh, there they are. Augment my abbeys. Confirm. Awesome. Let's grab our next task, please, demons. Nope. Uh, 161 spiritual mages, not bad. There's a completion of our spiritual mages task. So, I did do the majority of them at the wilderness dungeon, and we got about four ecumenical keys. So, I left there because I didn't want to get PK'd and lose a bunch of stuff because ecumenical keys out for a really high price. So, I just came here and finished them up. Didn't go back because uh, I figured I wouldn't get a fifth key because that's a lot of keys. Let's go grab a new task. Give me those abyssal demons, please. 186 blood veld. Not horrible. There's our blood veld task complete. Unfortunately, no clues, which I'm a little upset about. Alright, let's go get our new task. 
Ooh, 191 hellhounds. So, I was doing a little bit of Vedion earlier, and I'm pretty positive that the skeletal hellhounds will count towards my hellhounds task. So, I'm going to go do some Vedion. I'm just going to do five more kills, most likely. And um, it'll be nice because those hellhounds will count towards it, and then I'll go do the hellhounds at the regular, um, the regular Neves dungeon. Well, that's unusual. While I was killing the Hellhound, we just hit 90 attack. That's insane. That's another 90 stat to the collection. And we also did one hit. We did hit 113 combat as well. 13 more levels till max. That's not going to come anytime soon, though. Let's get back to killing some Vedion. First kill. <clears throat> oh, that is such a beautiful drop. I'm so tired of making compost, so that makes me really, really happy. Ooh, room pickaxe. What a troll. Yeah, Dark Fishing Bait doesn't really have too much uh, help for me at all. Oh well. <sighs> that is the drop that I wanted more than any other drop that he could have given me. 50 Limp Roots, it's such a pain in the butt to have to go and kill Cockatrices like every week so I can get Limps. To, uh, to why am I going, I'm just going to do a second kill. So I can uh, make some more super strengths, but that is such a nice kill. Oh my goodness. And a rune 2 H sword to end it. Alright, let's go finish him up, the, up at the regular Hellhounds. And I'm not going to lie, I'm really enjoying Vedion, so you'll probably be seeing a lot more of it in the future. Well, we picked up a clue right after I potted, so I didn't feel like going and doing that right away. So I waited until the pot ran out, and now we're going to go do the clue. Well, here's your basic clue. And we got another clue. Let's go. Once again, not a great clue. Let's go back to our Hellhound task. Hopefully, we will get another clue by the end of the end of it, though. There's our Hellhound task complete, and we got another clue before the end of it. Only a few kills left. Let's go get a new task, and then let's do the clue. Ah, uh, yes, 119 Abyssal Demons. That's what I like to see. Hopefully, we can get a whip. So when we get our Kraken Tentacle, well, allegedly get our Kraken te Tentacle in the future, we will be able to throw it right on there. Wish me luck. What a beast! There it is! Oh, yes! First Abyssal Whip! Oh, gosh. Get the whip. There we go. First Abyssal Whip drop. That's really exciting. <laughs> That's so cool. Ooh, first... I think this is first clue of the task coming in. Let's go do this real quick. We killed about 200 to get our first clue. Oh, well. Oh, gosh. There is our Abyssal Demon task complete. Gosh, I've missed that task so much. Alright, let's go get our new task, but we are not going to be doing Slayer after that. We are going to be doing a bit of God Wars. I'm going to do some Sarah Solos, which I have the ecumenical keys for. Then I'll probably be doing some Bandos and also some more Vedion. I'm calling Black Dragons or Spiritual Mages. There we go. First kill. Ooh, just some Sarah and Super Store. It's not terrible. And kill number two. 37 rune darts. Great for my blowpipe. J Dream. Ooh, more Super Restores and Sarah Diamond Brews. Not terrible, I guess. Those are nice for uh, extending the trip. Well, there's a two kill trip, but let's see if it was worth it. Three prayer potions. Wow. And, and probably our cleanest kill yet. More rune darts. Yay. Man, these two kill trips are very nice. Just 19k. Not too terrible. Second to last kill, hopefully. Oh, just more prayer potions. Alrighty. First kill of the night. Ooh, some coins. Nice. Kill number two of the night. And our last bandos kill for now. Just coins. I don't know what I expected. Ooh, room pickaxe drop for the first drop from Vedion for now. And uh, note to self, and anyone else going to do Vedion in the future, do not bring a dragon battle axe. It is incredibly painfully slow. 200 blood runes. 300 gold ore. I'll take it. That's not too bad of smithing XP. Not a bad drop. It'll give me another kill this trip. 
And of course, more, more oak planks. All right, let's go do our spiritual mages test. We're going to do it in the wilderness uh, so we can get more keys. Go back to Sarah. There's our first hard clue. Let's go. Well, there's a very average clue reward for you. There's a completion of our spiritual mages task, and if you're wondering why I'm doing them here, I was PK'd and lost my Slayer Helm because I picked up an ecumenical key right before it, so rip Slayer Helm, and I only have one left. Alright, let's go get a new task. Let's grab a new task before we do the clue. 18 Steel Dragons, nice. Ancient Bracers, they're probably worth like 4k. Oh well. There's a completion of our Steel Dragons task, and honestly, it wasn't that bad. Um, it only took me like maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Plus, if you bring a Crystal Halley, the specs are awesome on it. So, I definitely recommend doing that. Just be careful. And we did get a hard clue, so let's go do that real quick. But before we do the clue, let's grab our task. 90, 194 Blood Veld. Awesome. Once again, not the greatest clue. I'll take those sharks, though. I like those drops. Ooh, first hard clue of the task. Coming in. Let's go do that real quick. Ooh, Gothic Stole. Don't have that one. Nice. There's a completion of our Blood Veld task. Alright, let's go get a new one. 111 Necril. That must be close to the lowest that he can possibly give. Oh well, let's go do those. There's a completion of our Necril task. Unfortunately, no clues nor significant drops either. Alright, let's go grab a new task. Alright, Duradel, what are you going to give us? 83 Sukwas. No thank you. Let me just cancel that real quick. Maybe if I had a cannon, but I don't, so... 166 Greater Demons. Awesome. Let's go get ourselves a Zami Spear. Kill number one of the task. 19k. Nice. Kill number two. I'm calling Rune Plate Legs. More coins. Okay. May or may not have died. And we get the super set for the drop. Totally worth it. Kill number four. Some rune plate legs. Yum. And here's our fifth and final Zami kill for right now. 19k. Alright, let's go do them at the regulars. There's a completion of our greater demons task, and we do get a hard clue. Uh, we only got one with like 25 kills left, so obviously I didn't bother leaving for it. Also, we are 133k away from 86. I am going to grind that out before the end of the episode. So, for the rest, of the remainder of the episode, we'll prob probably be doing some Slayer. Go use that ecumenical key that we have in the bank, and then do some bears to finish it up. But that's in the future. Let's go get our new task. Hopefully, it'll be Blood Veils or something that'll give me some nice XP. Alrighty, Dordo. Why you gotta be like that? <sighs> Let's quickly uh, cancel that. 111 Necreal again? You just gave that to me like two tasks ago. Alright. There's that clue. Let's go do the task. Boom. Task complete. Nothing special. Unfortunately, no clues, which is kind of weird. Let's go get a new task. Why do I get these tasks? Well, we completed our Anku task. Obviously, nothing special from them since they don't drop anything special. So let's grab, grab our next task. I'm calling Abyssal Demons, please. 156 spiritual mages. I'm actually going to skip those. Um, I just want some good XP right now, and they're not the best XP in the world. So, Abyssal Demons? 10 black dragons. Alright, let's go kill 10 KBD. This will only take like 20 minutes, so I'm not worried. That's the completion of our king black dragon task. Well, black dragon task, but you know what I mean. Not too great of loot. We did get 3 rune longswords and 150 u-logs, which I guess makes it uh, worthwhile. But we also did get crashed once and got an empty drop once, so that's why 2 drops are missing. Anyway, let's get our next task, and once again, let's hope it's Abyssal Demons. 20 ta- 20- what? No, I'm gonna skip that. Be right back with a new task. 170 Abbey Specs? I'll take those, I have not had those for a while. We just finished our Abbey Specs task, and unfortunately, no clues or anything great other than that. Ooh, 185 Calphite. I want to kill KQ so badly. There's a completion of our Calphite task, and it is killing me not doing KQ. I seriously miss KQ. Alright, let's go grab a new task. Hopefully, it'll be some good XP. Thank you for the Blood Veils, Duradel. <laughs> Boom, Necreal task complete. Let me just scroll. There it is. Let's go grab a new one. Please, Blood Veils or something good XP. Why? Please, come on, Dardell. Let's skip this. <sighs> you just a troll. 131 cow fight again. Alright, those are quick XP, so I'll go do those again. 
Man, there's a completion of our Calfly task, and I'm sorry if these tasks are getting a bit repetitive, but we are almost there, 55k till the level, so depending on our next two or three tasks, we could get it by the third-ish task. Hopefully we will. Let's go get our next task from Duradel, though. Thank you for the 275 Abyssal Demons. Or 16 Black Dragons. Alright, I'm not going to do the do those at KBD just for the quick XP, so let's go do those at the regular or Dragon, sorry. Well, started that task at 4.09 a.m. and finished at 4.12 p.m. or a.m., not p.m., sorry. That was the easiest 15 points I've ever earned. Alright, let's go get a new task. More Bear Inspectors. Alright, I'll take them. They're not horrible XP. Well, we did just pick up a hard clue from a Bear Inspectors. Let's go do that real quick. Well, we finished our clue, but we were immediately attacked by one of those ghasts, so... Yeah. There's our Bear Inspector task complete, our 269th task in a row. We also did get a hard clue with only a few left, so obviously I didn't bother leaving. Let's go get a new task. Hopefully it'll be Abyssal Demons because we've been pretty dry from them, and uh, then we'll do the clue. Man, he must really have something for Black Dragons. Alright, let's go do the clue. That's a nice looking clue. I have not checked the pages yet. That is an Armadillo page 2, or, why did I say Armadillo page 2? Zamorak page 2 and a Bandos page 2. I don't know if I have those in the bank. Let's go check real quick, though. Let's throw the Zamorak page in. Ooh, nice. We do not have one of those. One page till we're done that. Which page is it? Page number 4. And let's throw our Bandos page in. Ah, uh, we already have four of those. What page do we need for Bandos? Bandos page 3. Awesome. Let's go do our Black Dragon task. Black Dragon task complete. Let's grab a new one. 184 Blood Veld. That's the task that I wanted to see. That'll be very useful for XP. Um, let's quick check how much XP to the level. 38k. This one will get us very close. Uh, it's going to be about 23k XP, so nice. First our clue of our Blood Veld task coming in. Let's go get more Third Age. Or Saradama Page and two skirts. Thanks. There's a the completion of our Blood Veld task and no clues other than the one that we got, but we are 16k away from 50 or 86 Slayer, sorry. Let's go grab our new task and hopefully it'll be the one. Alright, Duradel, give us the task that'll give it to us. 71 Suquas. No thank you. Let's cancel this real quick. And new task. Back to back Blood Velds, nice. Ah, here it is. This is the Blood Veld that will give us 86 Slayer. If we could kit it, there we go. Oh my goodness. Finally, one more level to go. There's a completion of our last and final task for this episode. So let's go grab our next task and then let's get started on the barrow runs for this episode. And maybe a little video on after the barrow runs. I'm not totally sure how much time I'll have, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, Daredevil, what are we going to start off with for next episode? Alrighty, 151 Brian Rats for next video. That'll be exciting. Let's go start on some barrows. First chest of the video. Derox Helm to start it off. Not quite. Chest number two incoming. Ooh, Elite Clue. Have not had one of those for a very long time. We can do that. Let's go. Just kidding. I'm streaming in like 30 minutes, so I'm going to wait to do the Elite on stream. So let's loot chest number three while we're at it. Still no Derox Helm. Chest number four. Boom. Nothing great. And five chests down. 20 to go. Chest number six. Boom. Darn it. Chest number seven. Boom. And nothing once again. Please don't kill me. Well, as soon as I got the reward, I got attacked by a skeleton and it closed the interface. But what's new? Nothing great from the elite. Alright, let's go get started on Barrows. Well, not started. Let's go back to Barrows, I guess. I have no idea what chest this is. Let's go. Still no Derek's Helm. Chest number nine. Ah. Number ten. Chest eleven or twelve, I think. I don't even remember at this point. 
Chest number 12. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Chest number 15. Boom. <sighs> Still no piece. No, That was not even close to chest number 15. I don't know what I was talking about. Chest number 14. <sighs> chest number 15. Arams, please don't wreck me. Still no item. Chest number 16. Ah, darn flabbit. Chest number 17, I think. Ah, still nothing great. Chest number 18, I think. Let's break the let's break the dry streak. Not quite. Chest number 19. Forgot to kill him. Oh well. Chest number 20. And boom. <sighs> Still no peace. Chest number 21, 22. <sighs> the dry streak is real. Chest 397, I believe this one is. And 397 does not bring us any luck. Chest number 398. Bring me some luck, please. Second to last chest of the video. Let's go. Time for our last chest of the video. All right, going to uh, going to throw this on my inventory. We're gonna loot the chest. Go to Edgeville. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do the usual. We're gonna walk up one space. Walk over one space. We're gonna jump for joy. But uh. We're, I forgot to say Badoodle. I clicked to her. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't say Badoodle. I ruined everything. <sighs> well, that's 25 chests dry. Don't know if we've ever been that dry before. Oh well. I know I generally end videos with uh, Barrows, but we went really dry, so maybe we can get lucky from Vedion. Obviously not this first drop, but let's see. Uh, the trip extender drop. Yeah. Oh gosh, back to back. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, a pickaxe draw. Oh, not the kind of pickaxe that I want. Ouch. Coins to end our Vedion kills. Alright, I do have an ecumenical key, so let's go do some Sarah to end the video. That was easily our smoothest kill other ever. What can we get for it? Uh, 97 laws. That was clutch. I ran out of prey. Hopefully we... Uh, tooth half key to end the episode. Alrighty. Alright guys, and like I said, that is going to be it for episode 23 of my Iron Man series. I really hope you guys did enjoy it because, like usual, I had an absolute blast making this episode. I enjoyed training Slayer, so naturally, I have fun while making these episodes. So, for next episode, we are going to be achieving the Trident. If RNG it goes accordingly, we'll be, we will be achieving the Trident. We are currently... 342k XP away from 87 Slayer, and once I get 87, I'm going to blow all my points on trying to get that Trident, so that will be the one and only goal for next episode, and once we do get that Trident, we're going to be smashing out Zolra, we're going to be killing Zami Boss off the hook because we don't have any reason to train Slayer, uh, if we do get a Kraken Tentacle, that is, also Bandos as well, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to that, um, you guys are just going to have to sit through a little bit more of Slayer grind, and then we'll get to the really fun stuff of my Iron Man series, like Quest Cape, Fire Cape, Fury, etc., etc. So keep holding in there, guys. I do have a lot of fun stuff planned for you and me as well. Seriously, guys, if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button for me. Help me get to 300 likes this episode. That, that would be amazing. Also, if you guys did enjoy, seriously, please hit that sub button for me. It seriously means a lot when you guys do. Um... Without any further ado, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully, we can make some ridiculous gains then.